beauties welcome back to my channel i have become the influencer that forgets to do intros so this is what you're getting as an intro to this video and my get ready with me and first impressions with the all of you palette by violet Voss. i like always said i hope i never become that influencer or, you know, the person that loves makeup, that has a channel and completely forgets to do a intro to their video, which that just became me. I can't believe it happened to me. <laughs> Here's my intro, just to get ready with me using the new All of You palette by Violet Voss. I got it in a boxy pop-up and I'm so glad I did. I only paid $12 for it and I give you all of my thoughts and my first impressions while using the palette in this video. This is, do you not see my blush, you guys? I have to throw it in here because I just filmed a video with these blushes. It's all I'm saying is coming Saturday. Listen, I have no words right now, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think about Violet Voss palettes because I feel like they are underrated and not talked about much and they need to be talked about more because their formula is just super consistent i've never had any issues with their palettes and i absolutely love their eyeshadow formula it is just it's beautiful it's impeccable and yeah we need to talk about violet boss here so let's get into the video hi guys how are we doing today Okay, so that probably came out super cheesy, but anyway, seriously, how are you guys doing? It's been a little bit since I've done a tutorial, and I'm super excited, you guys. I got the olive palette, so we're going to be using that today. I'm going to go in, obviously, with my Smashbox 24-Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I always use this one. This is my number one, my holy grail. We know this, but if anyone is new to my channel, thank you first. For joining me stopping by giving it a view we are using the smashbox primer which i absolutely love and i'm gonna set that down and i'm gonna put it a little bit more set this down and then i don't i don't know if i've ever mentioned this but i don't set this because i don't need to it pretty much just does the work of it all so I've been not feeling good the past few days so today is like a filming day for me because today is like the first day that I actually feel okay I'm not like majorly sick or anything just you know that time and it really put me on my ass this month and it's just it wasn't cool <laughs> but I'm okay I had a fever and everything it was ridiculous anyways all right you guys so I laid that down and i'm so excited to play with this palette this palette came out last month in boxycharm and then violet voss put it on their site i absolutely love violet voss eyeshadow formula it is so good it's never been inconsistent for me when i saw this this was just right up my alley i love the packaging i'm really excited over this you guys so i'm gonna go in with infatuated i really want to get better with like the whole spotlight or halo type of look i've done it before they've come out good it's just you guys it's, it's been a little bit since i've really really like dived into makeup to really like sit down and do it i've just been a little off my game just doing like other stuff and i'm just like i need to i need to do it i need to get this in i want to get better <laughs> i'm gonna lay that color down infatuated and i'm using a uh, morphe i believe is an r yeah r34 so i just want to get this on the sides in the corner I love that color already oh my goodness but yeah what's going on with you guys I hope you're doing well I just there's quite a few videos that I want to film for you guys I'm also vlogging at the same time really stamp it in there just to get the color I love this color already you know me, I am a sucker for these grungy tones, the mauves and the olives. 
I saw this palette and I was like I feel I really do feel like Violet Voss does not get enough credit for how amazing their formula is and I've never heard of any like inconsistencies anyone having like issues with their shadows I've never had any issues with their shadows I really do enjoy their eyeshadow palettes I have quite a few there is another tutorial that I want to do kind of like a, a summer like pastel vibe I do have like I think it's called their sugar crystals palette and I really really enjoy that palette so I think I'm going to do um I'm not too worried about the middle not being like even I just want to get this color down and just saturate it in there as you can see I'm like not having any patchiness like there's nothing you guys like Violet Voss eyeshadows are just like people need to talk about them more they are freaking amazing 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 I love them I'm not too worried about the middle because it's gonna get covered anyways but I'm gonna just darken the sides and go in with charmed which is this even more darker one like you guys I'm already so in even the packaging I love I absolutely love this and I got it through uh, the add-ons through BoxyCharm and I think this palette runs for $34 and I got it for $12, so you can't go wrong with that. But I just, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna saturate that color even more. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, on the inner part, and then just blend it out. I'm gonna go in with my NYX uh, 16 and just it's a clean brush. All my brushes are cleaned. I finally cleaned them. And then I'm just going to soften the edges and then just blend it out. So obviously you already know there is no harshness. I'm going to take that same R34 and I'm going to go in with Infinity, which is the black in the palette right here. I'm literally just going to build this a little at a time because I want a little bit of depth and smokiness to it. And I think I'm only going to do it on the outside. I'm literally like tapping my brush into the black. Because if you go in with a heavy hand all at once and jack it up, there's no going back. At least we could just build up a little bit at a time. I just want to give it a little smokiness on the outside part. Next, I'm going to take, I mean, this is going to be fast, you guys. I don't even know, like, how, which one to pick. These shimmers are just gorgeous. And I also love the way they laid this color story out because you have all your shimmers, like, on the outside. And then you have your six mattes, like, in the middle. I kind of like that layout a lot. I don't think I've ever looked at a palette and looked at the layout of how it was but this one just really caught my eye and I'm like hmm I kind of like this the way they laid it out it's really really cool I'm also thinking what wishful would look like as a blush and like lately which is a good thing because you know we're still learning and growing here I had like I look at palettes now and I'm like okay what can I use for highlighter can I use something else as blush from from it too like you know just certain things like that like I look at palettes now like can I use this for like a f entire face you get what I mean so yeah all right so I'm gonna go in with my Luxie small shader brush is a two it's two four five I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago I like using this one for like the cut creases and all that stuff and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter glue and I'm gonna lay that down in the middle so I'm just gonna take some on my brush and then lay it down and the palette also comes with a mirror which is fantastic so I'm gonna go in like right here and then just go back and forth with it um, just the shape of my eyeball and then just bring it down I'm not a pro at this 
I'm still practicing. Sometimes when I really, really like practice and get down with it, my looks come out amazing. And I'm just like, why can't I do that on camera? I'm gonna take another flat brush, shader brush. It's by Morphe, also another one that I got from uh, my BoxyCharm. I don't know if I wanna go into Olive Glow or Olive Me. I'm being like indecisive. So either this one, Olive Me or Olive Glow. I'm leaning towards more of the olive glow, but I don't know. Let's, okay, I'm just gonna go in with the olive me. Just gonna get it where I laid down the NYX glitter glue. Right in the middle. And then obviously we are gonna blend, oh, whoa, okay. So I really did get it on my brush. I thought I didn't cause it looked really light. You kinda have to take off that first layer. And, then, and I'm gonna go back in with the R34 and pick up more of the infatuated color. I believe it's infatuated. No, it's charmed, which is that dark brown. Kinda marry the two just so it doesn't look crazy. I watch a lot of other YouTubers like do this. I really don't know how they get it so like fast and cohesive. I have not done this in a while, but they just make it look so effortless. I don't understand. And then that glitter glue really like it works. Okay, you guys, so this is where I'm at. A lot of blending, not too bad. I'm not a professional. <laughs> We're just playing with makeup here. I do want to go into the lightest color that I think would look pretty as a blush, but I'm going to use it just to soften out the edges. Um, it's called the Wishful. It's this one right here. So I'm just going to dab that a little bit on my a brush um, using the NYX 16, which is one of my favorite brushes. I think it's my favorite brush like out of all the brushes that I own. And then um, slightly, I'm going to just buff out the edges so they don't look crazy. That's about it. And then I'm also just going to like smoke down, smoke the lower, under the lower lash as well. But I'm going to repeat this on the other eye, do my full face, and I'll come back and we'll finish. All right, guys. So this is the final look. I'm going to be honest with you. I personally feel like... I mean, obviously, I'm not a professional. I do this because this is my passion. We love makeup here. And let me tell you something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> and this is probably me being hard on myself. But I feel like I fell off the wagon because I used to be able to do a spotlight or like a halo eye, however you want to call it really really good this one is not too bad i just haven't done it in a long time and there's so many different ways you can do it that i'm just like eh but i will say though i do like the final look so i'll just touch up on a few things that i used i'm gonna put my glasses on because i can't see shit but yeah i really do like how it came out at the end i was just like um i don't know but you always have to trust the process like it's always gonna look like crap until you finish everything so that's just how it rolls with makeup but final look i really do like how i finished it off this is just like a get ready with me first impressions with this palette i absolutely love this palette you guys obviously the shimmers have some fallout but they just pretty much wipe away i love the color story of it i love how they laid this out i am like yeah this is one that i know i'm gonna gravitate towards a lot i did try to use wishful as blush and unfortunately it didn't work out for me <laughs> it was just not sticking it was really really light so i opt out for a peachy one by wet and wild i also just love how they laid this out like violet boss is very consistent with their eyeshadow formula in my opinion i have never had any issues with their palettes and i absolutely love their palettes i feel like i need to do more like get ready with me's with their palettes because i have quite a few i i do want to work on a pastel one for you guys for the summer i also use the major spotlight for um 
inner shimmer under my eyebrow and then I went in with both major spotlight and olive you together in my inner corner I was pretty content with this like I really really love this I love this a lot you guys the shadows didn't give me any issues at all they're super pigmented they're great to work with they blend well together to where it doesn't get muddy or anything like that I really really like this I'm really glad that I got this only for $12 you guys so yeah I'm pretty pretty excited over this one but this is my final look and then I finished off with the new double XL NYX lingerie lipstick in straps off so that's what I finished with and I paired it with sugar pie um, lip liner by Morphe which is one of my favorite all-time lip liners by them this one and guide me chef's kiss absolutely love them um i mentioned a uh, blush by what and wild highlighter on the face is by ofra mascara is that sky high by maybelline and foundation is becca and then that maybelline fit me setting powder why am i so late to the game you guys i cannot stop i can't stop using that powder why didn't you guys tell me i just Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with that powder. It's ridiculous. But yeah, you guys, this is the final look. It's, you know, grungy. It's not summertime, but you know me that I am not a seasonal woman. I do whatever, whenever I feel it. But I really, really wanted to try this out, you guys. I absolutely love this. Of course, this is more on the fall, grungy type of, you know, time and looks. But you know me, I'll use this anytime. So I was obviously going for an olive, olive grungy look with this look today. And I'm pretty content with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Guys, let me know. What is the most makeup product that you have trouble working with? I love makeup. Obviously, we know this. This is why I, you know, decided to do a channel just to share my love of makeup with you guys and grow together and learn together and just do all that stuff together. Eyeshadows is one of the things that I want to work so much on. There's times where I'm just like completely flawless with it. And then there's times where it's just like, what is going on? <laughs> But yeah, tell me what, what is the product that you mostly have trouble with learning or using? I would love to know. Let's chat. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you think about this palette. What do you think about Violet Boss? I absolutely love them. But yeah, I'm just going to be slumming it in the house today. I have some stuff to do. Um, I'm off today and I'm going to be vlogging. So yeah, um, the vlog that I'm putting together, it, it'll be out next month because there's a lot that I want to incorporate with it might be about like 30 minutes long let's see what i piece together and um you know put out for you guys but i love you please be safe out there please be kind to one another help each other out and i will see you in a couple of days love you bye